Victoria Hark and I'm a generalist photographer so I shoot everything from landscapes in nature to portraits and weddings. In this video I wanted to share with you three images that I photographed on one evening. So I love being out in nature so I'm always out either with my dog Jack or hiking and when I'm out there I'm usually looking around and keeping an eye on what's blooming, what water levels are like and this often really inspires my photography. So for, these, for, this, um, for this video, um, the images that I took, um, I photographed in an area that floods locally in the springtime. So during the rest of the year, it's pretty dry and um, you, know, you can actually walk around in this area, but with the spring melt, with the snow coming off of the mountains, the water levels rise and um, it, it's actually, actually really beautiful. The water comes around the trees and it reminds me a little bit of somewhere like the Florida Bayou. So I persuaded my friend Erin and her daughter to join me for this shoot and we'd been given um, a headboard and footboard by another friend for a bed and so I wanted to use those in the images or at least in one image so we took that with us. This is an image that I have taken there um, a year or two ago, uh, my friend Erin on her paddleboard and I just love how you get the water around the trunks of the trees and these beautiful reflections and then the green of the hillside behind. So the idea was to head out to the same spot and get some images. A friend of mine gave me um, a headboard and a footboard for a, an old bed that she had on her property and so Erin um, made a, um, a platform in the middle so that we could actually use it as a bed for the shot. So we headed out to the lake and the water level wasn't actually at the same level as in the shot with um, the paddleboard. It was a lot lower, so we couldn't quite get what I was hoping for. Um, but you'll see in the video, um, you'll see in the video kind of what we did. So it took us a while to figure out the actual positioning for the bed, how far into the water we wanted it to be so that it was um, deep enough that it covered the base but obviously not too deep so that she she was half drowning or something um, and then also to, to get the, the bed level so using rocks to to get it um, into the right position nice bed I built you know very nice okay so Ava it's gonna be a few seconds like what just only like one second so just keep really still you ready here we go I'm gonna underexpose a bit too okay I'm gonna do another one And just stay as you are for a sec. Just wanted to make sure. Princess and the frog. Mm. If only we had a frog. I know. Okay, let me just zoom in. Just stay still for a sec, Ava. Okay, do you think that looks all right? I wonder if our feet are too close to the end. Like it's There not. you go. Yeah. Just so that they're not touching. Do you want them on top of each other? Like How they were was good, but just so that they're not. Yeah. Actually, ha just what did, what did you just do? Did you put the other one in o over the I front? Put it like that. Yeah. Just I don't I don't want it to touch the bed head though. So try and 
curl up a little. Curl up a tiny bit. Now if your you butt's kind of hanging out, so you might want to. Well, she won't. You won't okay. see it. She, there's nothing showing that. No, no. Okay. Because if she moves, everything else will probably yeah. go. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. So if you close your eyes, Ava. Okay, just stay still for a sec. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stay where you are and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit just to try another one. So just keep, keep still. I think that's good. I actually quite like that closer in comp. It's nicer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like that better. Let me just zoom in, just check before we move you. Now, why don't we just try that piece of material at the, where your thigh is. Yeah. Try and just pull it up so, so there's more knee showing, but le but less. Cause she, yeah. yeah. So you can actually have your other knee, I think your other knee out. But not make it like pull it from the the top of the fabric rather than the right bottom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and just have that knee out a little bit because it's better. Mm -hmm. It's easier to understand your body shape. So that bottom knee, yeah, that's it. And then flatten down that bit of material just there. Just pat it down. Just push it down here. Here on the on your top on of your thigh. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 There you go. Okay, and then put your hand back how you had it. That's good, perfect, that looks great. Okay, I'm just gonna grab another couple. Uh, one more, just stay still, Ava. And I'm just gonna check that we're in focus and everything looks okay, I think it does. Yeah, cool, alrighty, perfect. You're good. Good job, thank good you. Up. Does she need a hand? Too? I don't think so. I think you as long as you move slow, move slow. Oops, what's she holding on? So heavy. Oh, hey. Her hair. In the back of the white. Are you cold? A little. Okay. So we got towels for it. When it came to editing the image, I actually decided that the head and footboard kind of got in the way of the shot. So you'll see in the edited image that I took them out in post-production. I just felt that it was kind of a cleaner image. Um, I started shooting with a, a, a wider view, but for this particular one, I, I zoomed in a little bit to 54 millimeters, and I liked the way that the trees either side were making a nice frame around her. So as with most of the images that I shoot, I'm always keen to make sure that you, um, that the viewer doesn't kind of disappear off the edges of the frame. I want the, the viewer's eyes to stay um, on the subject, on the thing that's most important to me. So I darkened down the edges a little bit just to make sure that, that, that the eye stayed in the centre of the frame. And I also warmed up the image quite a bit in post. It was quite, it was a lot cooler, um, the roar that came out of the camera. She only needed to stay still for one second. Um, we didn't really need a long exposure because the lake was so calm. There were no ripples and things to disturb the reflection. So um, it was just a one second shot. She didn't really have to hold still for too long. So we moved down the lake a little way um, so that we came out of the trees to have a look at what that would look like for a composition. When we got there initially, it was actually, the light was really beautiful on the trees in the foreground, but um, unfortunately we weren't quick enough and we missed it. Um, we were looking for something for Ava to stand on to, to, so that the water was, well you'll see in the video, but I think it was kind of, um, you know, knee deep, certainly over my boots to get out to where she was. But there was, um, there was a, um, a, a log that was there, so we just kind of rolled it into the, to the section of the frame that we wanted it. And I used the two trees on either side to balance and keep the eye in the frame. So, and it will be the right position there. Oh, this is a great spot. Oh, no, no. 
I think we might need to flip it. Well, no, it was that side up. I know, but I think it's turned around the wrong way. Slightly off center there, but just for the it's only a tiny bit. Yeah, it's good. That thing in your back is sticking out again. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good, Ava. So let's just get some positioning. Same so thing. if you turn your body slightly that way, yeah. and um, let's try with a hand. Way up, so it's like not around, but behind, and then look down. Yeah, that looks nice. Are you able to turn your body a tiny bit that way? That's it. And then maybe head slightly this way, this way? but but down, yeah. And I don't know if that elbow is a bit. Or lean, can you lean into the elbow? No, that looks kind of like head pressure. Yeah, try that side. But I want your head that way if possible because that's where the light is. Yeah. Um, can you make that elbow a bit kind of softer? Try looking down a little bit there. Yeah, let's give that one a go. Just stay there over for a sec. You'll see in the raw image there were a few things that I found a little bit distracting. So um, the log in the foreground on the left, some little white bits that draw the eye to the edges of the frame and here. So I really just in the in the final image I just wanted to clean those up, obviously straighten the horizon, make sure that that's not running downhill and then I again warmed it up quite significantly in post. I also um, wanted to just de-emphasize the log that she was standing on quite a bit. I didn't really want the eye to be drawn to that, so I cloned that out a little bit in post-production. So on the way home, we stopped at a shoreline area just to check out the water levels. And we saw that there was a tree that had come down and it still had um, because it was a recent fall in the, in the winds that we've had recently. Um, it still had really beautiful, vibrant spring green leaves. Um, we wondered if that might make a shot. So it was, it was after sunset at this point and beginning to get quite dark, um, but we um, decided to grab a few shots. The difficulty for this one was balancing the tripod on the trunk of the tree, and there was no way that I could prevent the leg of the tripod from being in the frame. So um, when it came to editing the shot, I obviously took that tripod leg out. Come further back, like... You can thinking. come, see this bit here, Erin? Yep. Like here. Right. That would be kind of the middle of the shot, I think. to bring this lower. Let me just see. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I'm just trying to not have any horrendous lens distortion. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so then you're very symmetrical, so we've got to see some more of your body to understand what we're seeing. So you need to turn a bit one way, the other way, this to your right. Yeah, that's the way that the light is. Yeah. try one and we'll only know by trying it. Okay, so it's currently a 30 second exposure. Unfortunately, as the sun had already set by this stage, it's a bit dark for you to see what's actually going on in the video. So I'll just explain that we tried a lying down position for Erin, but I felt that a sitting one was actually better. Um, it was important to keep her in the center of the frame so that we avoided any strange distortion because of the wide angle lens. And I wanted her face to be turned in the direction that the sun had set so that any light that was remaining would illuminate that side of her. And we ended up settling on a 30 second exposure and um, she was able to hold really still so that we could get that image just in the one shot. I wanted to really draw the eye into the centre of the frame to darken down those edges and I didn't actually notice at the time of shooting but when I look at it now um, I really love the fact that it looks like either a heart or it looks like a set of lungs um, and you know with the branches of the, the tree as, as part of the lungs I, I just thought it was beautiful and then in the current climate with the um, coronavirus too the fact that it's a respiratory disease and um, somehow it, it, it kind of all um, came together um, for me just it just seemed to be really poignant and um, and also that people certainly in Canada the kids have been putting hearts on the windows of their houses and stuff to show um, that people are connected so the fact that it was like a heart and lungs I, I really like that Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into what happens when I go out to shoot some of the behind the scenes. Um, I'm hoping to do some more of these videos. I've actually got one in mind um, that I should be able to put together fairly soon. So um, I would love it if you would hit the like button. Um, if you would like to leave any comments, I'll be really happy to respond. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.